place. Okay. Now, how do I interact? No dark chocolate. Interact as if. Okay, everybody close your eyes. Oh, you don't have to. I did it for us. Okay. Hey everybody, welcome to a brand new game called Trader Life Simulator. I just picked this game up today. It is on sale right now on Steam for $10. And this game's been out for a couple months. Uh, but it looks interesting. It's got good reviews on Steam. So I thought we were going to check it out. Uh, the, the main premise of the game is you start your own supermarket and we can buy furniture for our house. Uh, down in the bottom right there we see it has a a urine circle, a dirt in a circle, and a hunger circle. And in the top left we've got our cash. Looks like we have $500 cash. I don't know what the other icon means. Uh, let's look at, see if we can hit, yeah, M is our map so I don't know what I don't know what that other icon means looks like we have uh, various things we go to we have shops furniture shop the I don't know if that's Jaber or Jobber shop I think that's where we go to buy our things to sell we have a restaurant butcher shop I guess the restaurant we probably have to go to eat at some point and so it is a bit of a survival survival game as well as a economics game from what I can gather we do have ATMs I guess that blue thing is the bank maybe all right so we're gonna check it out this is a totally blind playthrough I haven't I haven't done anything I literally just loaded into the game we got a nice pink bedroom here we have no furniture not even sure how to even get out of the house we have a rest or a bathroom here with no toilet or shower, so I guess we have to buy our furniture eventually. Okay, we got it downstairs. Here's our front door. Uh, I'm hoping we can repaint the house maybe because I don't like the color. It's kind of a peach color. Here's our kitchen. Looks fairly clean. Uh, we can't open this door to our backyard. Got a nice swing set back there, a nice little deck. Alright, so let's go see what we can find out here. The door, F to interact, okay, okay. Take the car and go to your shop. All right. Can we close, yeah, we'll close the front door. So we do start out with a car. Press M to open the map, okay. We did that once already. Now, I'm assuming this is our house right here, I guess. Looks like that's our little car right there. Okay. Now, they have had a couple updates already in this game. So, they are still adding to the game, improving it. Looks like we li live at the end of the road. And I've I've heard um, that the Discord is, is really great to work with. A buddy of mine, Old Bitty Gaming, she recommended this game to me. Said that she thought that I would really like it. So we're going to find out. Don't forget to check the car's status by pressing E while looking at the car. So it looks like we have gas, oil, and repairs to contend with. Alright, so we can take a look at it and press press E. There we go. Gas, it's all at 100%. That looks good. Got a nice SUV here, so let's go. Let's get in and check it out. I'm guessing we hit... Okay, O is to open the door. What? Okay, that opened this door. How do I close it? Okay. How do I get in this? Oh, just hit F, I guess. If your car runs out of fuel, use the phone by pressing N key, but you need to buy one first. Okay, I need to buy a phone first, alright. Alright, so we got Q to look back. R is reset, L for lights, alright, and F to leave vehicle, okay. So, the interior looks pretty good in the car, it's not bad, not bad, We've seen worse. Alright, we got this typical WS, WAS and D for our steering, 
Um, I guess we're just going to head down this way and find our shop. It does have attack and speedometer that works. That's nice. Use a laptop to save the game. Okay. There's the bank. This must be the restaurant where we eat. There's a gas station. All right. We're just going to drive around until we find our shop, I guess. She doesn't handle very well. What is that? Some sort of farm, it looks like? Okay. There's the mechanic. Alright. Does it show us where we're at on the map? It doesn't. There needs to be something showing us where we're at on the map. You know, our car should be moving here, I think. So, our shop is the little red thing the little red awning okay uh how do i get out of the map oh whoops <laughs> i was hitting m for the map and you have to hit done to get out of it okay well there you go again haven't played this it's blind hey easy oh is that a policeman Okay, that was kind of... He looked like an armed guard. Oh, there's some people in the town. Okay. There's a pharmacy. There's the bank. Maybe this is our store here. Let's go check it out. We got a nice... Oh, we got a nice uh, big pane window there. Okay. Press Q to place furniture. Okay, so this is our store. We can rotate, cancel, rotate faster, rotate slow. Okay, okay. All right. So we do have an employee. He looks like a bodyguard with that hair. Look at that. What's up, buddy? The worker will handle the selling process. You just have to collect money from the cash box. Oh, well, that's nice. Okay, looks like we could hire more than one eventually when our store gets bigger. He looks a little rough, though. Cashier, interact. No money to collect, okay. Yeah, so maybe we can hire on more. All right, so it looks like we have... Looks like we have a few boxes here to get us going. Start unpacking goods by pressing F while looking at a box. Okay, how do we find our furniture? Visit... visit Jaber's shop to restock or jobber. Okay. What did it say? Oh, Q. I'm sorry. Okay. We have a rack, laptop, wall, door frame, door, toilet, bed, table. All right. Well, we we need a rack to start out with. Okay. We can rotate it. Use the laptop to save your progress. Okay. Whoa. Okay, interesting. Nope, nope. Calm down. Alright, let's just put it right here in the middle because I don't know where else to put it for now. Okay, let's start unpacking. Diapers, tea, and coffee. Okay, that's what we start out with. So F, take the box. Alright, and place. Okay, so we can rotate it around. All right, simple enough. Oh, that's the back. Oh, funny. Rascal Junior, crybabies, disposable diapers. That's funny. I like that. And then it zooms down. All right. I don't know how many diapers we can put on shelf. Oh, these are different diapers. What's it say? What's this one say? Rascal Senior. That's funny. Different size diapers. Can I put another one there? No. Can I stack them? Oh, yeah. All right. 
I gotta make maximum space here. Now does the quantity, yeah, the quantity's going down the box. Okay, oh, there's a different kind of diaper, okay. These are Rascal Jr. party poopers. We got crybabies and party poopers. So it's good to have different kinds of diapers, I guess. Now this is some more crybabies. All right. And yet another kind of diaper. The wimps. Alright, well, I hope we have lots of babies in our town. I wonder if if we get to pick what kind of diapers we buy in the future. Alright, we got one more. Well, we have to go up top here. And we'll put it up front. So I know eventually we have to buy more racking. Okay, we got some tea. Can we put our tea up here? Guess not. All right, we'll put it here. Yeah, I know we have to buy more racking, of course, to put more things in our store. And from what I've seen, I think the people will come in and request different items to buy. So I think we have to go try and buy you know, to make the customers happy. I think that's where the economic part comes in. All right, why is this not? We're definitely gonna need more shelf space. Okay, I ran out of room for my tea on the shelf. What do we got? We got coffee here. So let's see if we got room for our coffee over here. Not let me put it up there for some reason. Whoops. F to take it out of the box. Okay. It's kind of hard to stack. All right, I'm going to just I'm going to leave that stuff there for now. Now, I think let's see what's back here. Storage room. Oh, we got more things here. We got tissue and detergent. All right, let's see if we can fit some tissue on the shelf here. Can we turn it? Yeah. And let's put a few detergent out here. I can't seem to put anything on the top. All right, let's just set a couple on the floor. It looks a little tacky, but until we have, until we figure out where we buy more furniture, we're gonna do that for now. All right, let's close this up. Oh, wait, here's my step letter right here. How about that? There we go. All right, I'm putting all this detergent up here. Okay, so this goes pretty quick, pretty smooth. Game's running pretty smooth. All right, so over here we can put our, our toilet paper over here. All right, let's move this out of the way. And let's put this box here. I'm just throw these in the storage room just so it looks a little cleaner. Shut that door. Cool. Oh wait, let's look and see what we got back here. Okay, so it's just the back of our shop. We got a dumpster here. No, it doesn't look like it's interactable. 
What's this? Oh, for deliveries. Okay. I guess we can get deliveries back here. That's cool. Want to make enough money, maybe? Very nice. Okay. I think we're ready to open for business. Um, I think... Do we open this door for business? Shop opened. Yeah. So you, kind sir, get to sell on a product. So we got $500 now. Customers left. No eggplant. Okay, they want eggplant. So I think they come and tell us what they want and, you know, what they're looking to buy. And they don't. And if we don't have it, then they'll, it'll tell us. Um, what else do I have? Let's see. It said I could save with my laptop. So use laptop to save the game. So do, oh hi, welcome to the store. How do I interact with the computer? Sold some detergent already. Talk to jobber first. Okay, I can't interact with the computer yet, but can I put my laptop down to place to save the game? I'm selling detergent. Okay. Um, oh, I can sell my laptop. Can be used to manage your shop and game save. Interact. F. Okay, so this gives us our, gives us our stats. We can upgrade. Oh, cool. We can buy coffee machines, espresso, sandwich stands. It's all things we can buy. $1,000 for a sunglass display. That's a little brutal. Okay, so this tells us what we're selling. We've sold $51 today. Complaints. No eggplant. Okay. So that's nice. That tells us what we need to buy. Uh, management. We can automatically open the shop at 7 a.m. I think I want that. Auto close shop. Went out of stock. Auto pay electricity bills. Okay, so we have to pay bills. So there's some economics in the game. Buy the farm. Interesting. Hire second cashier. $2,500. Okay. Yeah, so I thought maybe we could have two eventually. So let's save the game right now. There we go. Game saved. Done. All right. Let's. Uh, I'm gonna leave my money. We got five hundred dollars, so I'm gonna leave my money there. So let's go check out the the jobber store. And we have a wall, door frame. Oh, we do have a toilet and a bed. So we need to put those in our house eventually. And we're going to have to take care of food and dirtiness as well. So we're probably going to have to buy a shower at some point. Yeah. Wow. Days go by in a hurry. In this game. Alright, let's go check out the shop. Hopefully he's open. Okay, the jobber shop is... I don't know if it's jobber or jaber. Right here shopping cart right here so we are down here Ooh, he's a long ways away all right let's see if we can find him find the shop okay we have made it to the jobber shop and I hope he's open 24 hours a day Appears to be. Alright, let's go see what I want to buy. Well, I know I want to buy some eggplant. Some products requires to be inside a fridge, otherwise they will rot. Okay. Well, we know we need some eggplant, if he has it. What's up, jobber? He looks angry. Hi. Can we interact with him? I will deliver the products you order from me with plus $10 cost for each box. Well, maybe in the future we make some money, but right now we're going to take it ourselves. 
Alright, so let's see if he has any eggplant over here. What we need is more shelf space is what we need. Okay, he's got baker goods. High price. Oh, that's interesting. High price. Good price. Good price. Well, how much is the price? Normal price. Holy cow, $590 for a cake? Current price, $590. Okay, that's a little ridiculous. Um, candy bars are $25. Current price, $27. So these are overpriced. That says good price for a cake that's $590. That better be a good cake. Um, chips are good price, $10. Alright, let's buy some chips. E to buy. Okay. Now. Can we use that dolly? Guess so. Sure, why not? Might as well use all the tools available to us. There we go. Now, high price, softener, we don't need this stuff at the moment, these are all high price, so obviously we want to buy stuff at a good price, it's down. So I think the market does fluctuate, looks like. We got sunscreen for $72, this stuff's way overpriced. Shampoo is $59, it's a good price right now. Coffee, coffee sticks, it's a high price. Good price on the cola. Alright, so let's buy buy a box of cola. <laughs> Had a little glass bottle sound. I'm not seeing any eggplant. So I wonder if there's different... Let's look at the map again. I wonder if there's different shops we go to. Oh, vegetable shop. Okay. So we have to go to the vegetable shop to buy eggplant. That makes sense. Okay. Okay. Uh, rice. These are all high price. Toothpaste. Oh, that's $3 down on the toothpaste. So let's buy some toothpaste. Maybe this stuff will all fit in my car as well. Whoops. Didn't mean to do that. How do I grab the... There we go. Alright, let's open our trunk. We need a bigger car. Can I put another box in there? Maybe. Let's put this away. The game is auto-saving for us. Okay. Five o'clock in the morning. It's about time for the shop to open. Car handle's a little rough. We got the sun coming up, though. Looks nice. There's the gas station. There's the restaurant. Uh, let's go check out the restaurant real quick and see. They may not be open yet. Best burger. Oh, it looks like everything stays open here. So let's go see what we can buy for food. Order and pay here. But not really. Let's see, we have a cashier here. Interact. Alright, how much is the burger? It doesn't give me prices. Oh, there we go. Burger is $25. Ouch. Pizza is $65. Even ouchier. And fries are $15. 
Alright, let's go for a burger. Buy it. Um, is it in my hand? What? I just want I want to eat it. Okay, do I have to put I guess I have to put it down and then eat it. E for eat. Okay, so that brought my hunger down a little bit. I wonder if he has a restroom I can use. Probably not. Probably have to use my own restroom. <laughs> Interesting. Okay. Well, we do have... Okay, we do have a toilet. So, let's go back to our house. Alright. This is our home, right? Yes, I think so. Okay, so our bathroom is upstairs, I believe. Yes. No beans. Got a customer who wanted beans. Okay, so I think it makes sense to put our toilet right here. Place. Okay. Now, how do I interact? No dark chocolate. Interact as if. Okay, everybody close your eyes. Oh, you don't have to. I did it for us. Okay, now we gotta buy a shower at some point because we're getting dirty. So this is gonna be kind of cool. We got all these different rooms we can buy furniture with. I like that. All right, let's get back to the shop. Got some van parked right in front of our shop. That van looks a little sketchy. Maybe he owns that. Payments are deducted from bank account. Worker salary, $50. Okay. Okay, so we automatically open. Let's go check the cash. Oh, he's sporting a nice red hoodie today. Let's check the cash here. There we go. $142 collected. Nice. Okay, so... Oh, they bought detergents. Okay, so we need to... Are we out of detergent? We are. Should have bought some more detergent. They like the detergent. No milk chocolate. Okay, let's take a look at our laptop and see if it keeps track of what... Yeah, no eggplant, no beans, no dark chocolate, no frying oil. Lots of things that we need to get. Okay. But we need more... We need more racking. Alright, let's unload our truck. No pepperoni pizza. Yeah, we can rotate them. Okay, so the name was by the barcode in the in the box. There we go. Visit the furniture shop to buy a toilet, bath, and whatever else you need. Okay, yeah, we're gonna need a bath, and we're gonna need more racking. We can stack those. That's nice. No beans. Everybody wants beans. Chips. No spray. Alright. So let's throw some... 
throw some chips up here, see if we can sell some chips. So these chips will... They'll stack nicely. Let's get this out of the way. I wonder if we have a way to set prices. What does that say? Basil, yogurt, hot chili, barbecue. Oh, we got three different kinds of chips in here. Now that's cool. Oh, we got another kind. These are, if I can read it, honey mustard. Interesting. Lots of different kinds of chips. Hot chili. Cola down there. What if we have different flavors of cola? That's the second person that's wanted cooking oil. Yeah, we got different flavors of cola as well. We've already sold a chip. All right. Uh, oh, we need to get some toothpaste. Should be room for that. Soda cola. Okay. All right, guys. Let's go check and see how much money we got here. Now, this tell does this tell us what we're selling? No. Yes. Okay, this is probably... Yeah, we, this is what we sold just today. Detergent, detergent, diapers, coffee. Seven dollars for the chips. Okay, so that's cool. Tells us what we sold for the day. $324. And we have... These are the complaints, things that we need to buy. So we need to make note of that in the future. Let's save the game. And let's grab our money. $192. So we're, we're already back up to $775. We started out with $500. So we also, I can tell, we need to put money in the bank because when it pays our cashier, it takes it directly from the bank. Kind of like direct deposit, I believe, to his to his bank. So that's kind of cool. I don't know what the star rating is. That's probably maybe our restaurant or our uh, our store rating. We probably won't get that star up. That's what I'm guessing. So pretty cool. I I'm enjoying this. I think I'm gonna I'll, I'm definitely gonna do a couple more videos on it. If you guys like it, let me know. If you do in the comments section, hit that thumbs up button and let me know if you want to see more of this game. But I think that there's enough here that I think I'll have a good time with it. Anyway, let me know if you liked it. If you're new to the channel, make sure and hit that subscribe button and come back and see me for more videos of Trader Life Simulator. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.